Wednesday again and uh, I thought I'd at least keep up with my well I got on Wednesday waffles um you should now be caught up with um all the van build and all the going out to van life festival and everything there and I'm presently just having a bit of a time out um before it all goes mad again um health wise I've not been great I did have a bit of heat stroke at the festival but also I've had other uh, funny turns and that's we have to investigate that and find out what's going on my um diabetes checks have come back my blood's come back absolutely normal over the average as have my thyroid but I'm still obviously we believe reacting to the sugar spikes and um you know and <laughs> having some white weird things going on and there's some other things we have to check out so I was dragged off to the doctors by die um, and I have anxiety with doctors, I have complete doctor's phobias, so that was quite stressful. Um, but obviously I've got to learn to um, keep going back and having different tests done and uh, be under them for a while again there and stop running away. I don't even take um, like my mental health meds and my anxiety meds, but they put them me back on them. Even just going to the doctor, they could see the state I get into. Um, so... Um, being anxious over that but a bit better regarding that I mean I know I've got to be on my meds and it obviously helped me hello spirit it obviously helped me going forward to deal with all the crowds and the public and all the things I want to do um to get back out there again because obviously I really want to sort of become independent and give another go obviously uh, being disabled you are limited or I am limited to what I can do obviously I I work very much within my protective zone and um, my van's my world I can't go anywhere without that or so a vehicle that you know for, for different issues um, you know I have to have all facilities near me for when I have different things go wrong with me and things like that not just about the cats the cats obviously my comfort anyway uh, just trying to sort of throw things out there to let you know what's going on I will try to keep in touch um, but right now um, I'm due to go to Van Love Festival I'm not going to trade. Um, I'm going to just go for the day. That's if the van is okay. I've got work to do on the van. Is usable but shouldn't be usable. And obviously, I've got to, I can't deal with this heat either. So I've also got to be very careful regarding the heat for me, and the heat for the cats. But I will try and get up there, even if it's just me parked right down the bottom of the runway, and just so people can say hello or sort of see see the catio set up and everything. I will get that set up if I go. Um, then after that I'm supposed to be going to the memorial trip up North Yorkshire again that all depends on funds if I've got the funds into the van mend and I don't really want to sort of, um, take it places I want to get this seal uh, sorted that's leaking um, and obviously also solar and that I want to get done I mean, actually the trickle charge is working a lot better at the moment now Lee Stearman thank you very much has helped mend that a bit um, I just had a load of loose wires and everything so that's bringing in a little bit a triple charge and obviously if I'm on the road I can drive and uh, have the engine running to charge up um, the jackery if need be and the jackery lasted really well it lasted the whole week at the festival because I was obviously out talking to people so I wasn't actually on the internet all day which helped um then of course we're pushing towards August and getting back to the mind body spirit fairs and launching the business and that so I'm very busy at the moment making up all my herbal teas and things like that and just trying to work out how to get my retail store set up and uh, obviously I've got a more, lot more drums to paint so I've got a drum team so I can start teaching therapists and demonstrating that so going forward there's a lot regarding that going on also whilst I'm back at the bungalow at the moment I parked outside the bungalow with it but with being so hot or having to come inside especially with my health issues at the moment so I'm trying to sort of come inside and do some clearing um getting places ready for having sort of doing like my teaching healing clinic so I can have visitors here um who need to see me in between me going around places that is the only place unfortunately I'm going to be able to do any uh one-to-one -one healing sessions is going to be at the bungalow um purely because of of course and my issues and my health and things like that and I'm obviously happier here um so they will continue to a point there will be sort of um sessions available and they're on my website my wildcatwares.co.uk website which I'm also working on. Um, I've narrowed a lot of the stock down regarding that. I just want to keep it very simple, very plain, um, and then I can decide what I'm capable of doing. Now, obviously, going to the festivals and things like that with the cats and having a, a store there is going to work absolutely wonderful for me. I couldn't, doing the drumming and the um, 
their mouths and things like that was just way too much for me. The drums were obviously either too hot, too cold, or, you know, it was just a lot going on. I'm trying to sort of look after the cats as well and way too stressful. Then, of course, other people also asked if me to do healing sessions on them because my name preceded me, um, which was wonderful to do. But I've really got to sort of um, limit myself regarding that because of, of exhaustion as well and um, of coping mechanisms. So I'm really grateful for that, but I'm going to now segregate things. So at the Mind, Body, Spirit Fairs, I'll be having a retail store and I'll be doing healing tasters. And from there, if they want to book more appointments, they can book at my bungalow for, you know, more full-on things. Um, and then for, um, I'll be doing festivals my and my other mobile sort of store at festivals, take the cats out. So we've got somewhere to go stay for a weekend or so. Gives the cats a nice bit of variety, gets us out on the road a bit. That's my time out. Playing shop to me, I love so I'll, have, um, I'll try and get like a cat gift themed store for that. So it's all going to be about the cat van and all, you know, sort of cat themed gifts. And, and obviously I'll try and take my teas and that there as well. But I really want to keep my teas for the Mind, Body, Spirit Fairs um, until I can obviously get rid of all my other old stock and bits and pieces. So I'll basically be um, advertising my healing drums just as a, as a display on the store, um, selling teas, um, selling my sage and then my artwork and my jewellery. And just try to keep some nice simple wildcat wares and we'll also be selling the uh, stained glass um sun catches and that from forever glass art because obviously they've backed me all this way as my sponsors so i'll be selling and um, buying from them and selling um their stock which will be like a lovely range of all native american range of things i still have some a few little native american items but i really want to sort of come down to just or things made by me or painted by me or created by me and things like that so it's all about wildcat wares and getting that wildcat name out there i'm designing all the t-shirts and merch as well at the moment it's not available yet i've still got to get funds in the bucket to sort of get things going maybe i do it to order so i'm designing new little wildcat tribe things now obviously i was going to have um, there is a Wildcat Tribe membership which gives you discount off things and discount off workshops and everything. Um, but I think I'm also going to make Wildcat Tribe merchandise available to everybody just to sort of get it out there. And, to, and I've got a nice little cat logo um, and I'll probably design a few little things as well. So all that's going on, you know, it's, it's a lot of things to plan and organise and everything. Um, and, and, you know, just my head's going crazy. Um, and obviously where my moods go I can either go for it and go do a lot of things going on or I'm just just sat in bed not doing much at all and just studying and whatever which is something else I'm trying to do um not many people realize I've got a master herbalist um diploma um so I'm you know trying to forgotten a lot of things I'm trying to obviously work with my teas and everything and learn all the plants and learn all not just the uh, medicinal side of things but the magical side of things as well so that that would go lovely towards what I want to learn as well obviously living out in the wild um but also to, to offer something from my store something a little bit different as well um so yeah it's just a lot to do like I said whilst I'm back at the bungalow but I don't manage to go to Van Love because of my health on the van and I might have to delay the memorial trip trip um but I have to do El Sakara in the first week in August um so obviously I've got to spend time focusing on the bungalow getting that tidy I've got some socials going on here as well so people could come see me here basically I want to be able to have this as a base and have friends come see me and if you ask whatever and anybody who's got issues needs to come and talk about the, their spiritual journey and things like that they can come see me at the bungalow um and then obviously and obviously it's my get it sorted so I can obviously live here as well um, and have, have all facilities here properly especially with the way things are going regarding van life and obviously then my van is then for us to get out and enjoy life out on the road and, and just get out and whatever there are still opportunities for um, hosts for venues to host some workshops and um, earn money from that um, which is fine as long as they've got room to put my van in and also we're just about to see about a venue, a beautiful um, fisheries and country park venue um, that we're hoping to do some retreats as well. I'm going to do that in collaboration with Doncaster Timber Therapy and other my sponsors. So that's all in the pipeline as well. And if we can get that secured, obviously we can do some little re wellbeing retreats and also do my, um, my drum training there as well for my therapists. So we're not annoying the neighbours with the noise and everything. So yeah, so, so much going on, lots to do. I'll put a few pictures in of all the different things I'm planning, been working on and everything, little logos and designs and everything. Um, on This is on obviously the other side of me, on the on the Mystical Shamaness and the Wildcat Wear side. And, you know, Wildcat on the Road was about actually this, me being the healer on the road with my cats, who are my companions and my 
my saviors you know they keep me going and i keep them going um it's not just about cats it's a bigger pitch behind it and obviously people who've seen this all these signs about you know the drumming and the, and the shameless thing and whatever that would start to make more sense soon as i start doing a few little vlogs of being out and about not just at the different festivals but at mind body spirit places and i'll vlog a few things what i'm doing i'll be doing some little um workshops of even making the teas and things like that and uh um, incense making and, and even drum painting and some native american stories and um i do do shamanic training but that's more than one-to-one -one clinics um but you know i just all depend i've got a lot of opportunity i'm gonna wait to see what i can cope with and what interest there is really and then we'll amalgamate it all for next year and decide what we're doing next year so there we go it's just a quick 11 minute video as <laughs> so we're coming up to 11 minutes now Thank you so much to my supporters, my followers, my sponsors um, for being there for me. Um, it's going to be a tough journey. continue to be a tough journey, but we'll make it. And I'll see you out there. Thanks very much. Bye for now.